Cool. After winning the regional crown last weekend, Versailles' Jackie Stonebreaker affectionately referred to her team as a bunch of goofballs. They confirmed it in future interviews. Well, these goofballs now just one win away from the Tigers' second state crown. Facing Columbus Afrocentric, the Lady Nubians held Smithville, the Smithies, to just 22 points in their semifinal win yesterday. And a certainly a bright light on Versailles this afternoon and evening. First quarter, Lady Nubians a 6-0 run, but Brooke Pottis gets the Lady Tigers on the board. Only field goal the first quarter, though. Slow start for the Orange and Black. Second quarter, they start to pick up. Emily Harmon drives, gets the bucket and the foul. Afrocentrics lead down to 17-11 after the freebie. And later, off a miss. The Lady Nubians out and running. A lot of fast break points in this game. To Janiqua Franks to Alexis Parks. Lady Tigers down 15. For sales, though, fighting hard, trying to get back in it. Inbounds to Chris to put off. Easy finish, 26 13 after Centric's lead. Then the entry pass to put off. She banks it in, cutting the lead to 11 at the shot. How about Chloe Warville? Has struggled the last year and a half with that knee injury. Getting to play in a state championship game. Cuts the lead to eight here. Versailles down nine at the half. Third quarter put off. Working the offensive board. Two of her nine. It's 22-29. Lady Nubians. Versailles staying with it. Later, more good work on the offensive glass. Harmon this time. She finishes with nine as well. But Afrocentric, an answer all night long in transition here. Parks lays it in, extending the lead to 15 once again. Fourth quarter, Versailles continues to fight as You'd expect out of any MAC school. Rachel Kramer hits the jumper. It's 41-28 after Centric. Put off, then misses, but gets her own rebound. Tigers still down 13. Too much after Centric. They live the whole way. They win the D3 state title. 49-37. Lady Tigers runners up in Division 3. Didn't start out so well for us. I thought we dug ourselves a pretty big hole, and it's hard to come back on a team that can handle the pressure like they can. Um, you know, they, they really took it to us on their, on their defense. They had so much pressure and they always had their hands everywhere any time you tried to drive into the hole and then when you did have an open shot, they were, they were coming out at you. I mean, it always seems like there's hands everywhere and, um, you know, I, I feel like I could have finished better today, but um, looking back, I don't, I don't know. I guess it's always like that. You just got to handle it. A couple times I thought, you know, it might get us back into it, but it just seemed that we couldn't get any closer than eight points, um, and we couldn't get any offensive flow because as soon as we try to try something, they throw something different at us. We're all like sisters, and we just enjoy being with each other on and off the floor, and it was just great to be able to extend the season as long as we possibly could and play with them at this game. I think we just had a great mix this year. Um, I'd take this team over any other team in the state right now and it's hard to lose them.